on the ground, feeding him all of this. Either they throw up or they faint. And then he's like, I fainted. <laughs> and Stop. Stop. Wait, wait. This corner. Is <laughs> Those are all my dog's clothes. Well, some of them just drying. House has been infiltrated by dogs. But have you guys seen that TikTok trend where people pretend to be fighting someone that's not there? That's what I'm gonna try to do. So Tiffany and Dan Dan and my fiance are downstairs and I'm gonna try to start this vlog and we're gonna fight an imaginary person. I wanna see if any of them back me up. I wanna see their reactions. Are they gonna be on my team? Are they going to try and fight that person with me? Whose side are they gonna take? Welcome guys, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna tell you guys about the time that my fiance died, but before, how wait, wait, I said, did I say almost died? No, died. Oh, oops, sorry. Almost died. <laughs> died is for later. That's a different video, okay? That's, That's for the FBI. FBI. Um, but before we get into that, when you think... Hey, he has feelings. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? That was... Don't even look at me like that. Oh. <laughs> when you guys think of things bouncing, you're thinking of... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it literally just, she just pulled my hair. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Don't look at me. So annoying. <laughs> I said stop! When you guys think of things that are bouncing, like you're thinking of your... <laughs> oh my god, I swear, you do that one more time, and I swear I'm gonna rip your hair off. Oh <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny! Okay, sorry. You good? <laughs> anyway, when you guys think of things bouncing, you're thinking of your butt. <laughs> Wait, what? But the last thing that you probably want to bounce off the walls, off the floor, off your bed, is your phone. Like, it's fine if you're... <laughs> Did I say that? Oh, that was me. Oh. <laughs> you can already picture the damage in your head. Your heart starts beating faster and faster while you're leaning down to see if something is broken. Like, did my screen crack? I have let go of that fear. I have let go and let live. Maybe Thanks. come here. There's a ghost over there. <laughs> you don't want to hang out there. Thanks to Gaze to Find. I never go anywhere without my phone. You know what I want Case to find to make? Dog toys. Because my dog will rip apart and completely destroy, crack a dog toy in 0.2 seconds. But I could drop my phone down the stairs, off the second floor railing, in the airport escalator, and nothing. Not a scratch, not a dent, not a crack, nothing. This is my petition for them to make dog toys. But also, Case to find has a new bounce case. That's what I'm here to talk to you guys about. It is the most protective phone case ever. Like, it is wild. It's like sustainability meets cutting edge innovation. It has these super cool corners that just, I mean, they turn every heart stopping drop into this simple bounce and it's drop test proof up to 21.3 feet. Casetify has over 2,000 prints to choose from and they work with artists from all over the world to create these beautiful cases. You can even customize them if you want to. And I love, I love Casetify's Recasetify program. So their cases are 65% recycled material and are made with 20% less carbon emissions. They even have these super cool accessories which I think they just make your phone so much more fun, okay? But it's also so cute and so practical. It's so much easier to find my phone in like a big bag. I just pop this into my pocket or I literally go like this around the airport. So make sure to check out Case Defy linked in the description or go to casedefy.com slash mango to get 15% off your order. That's casedefy.com slash mango to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. And thank you Case Defy for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. <laughs> oh she pulled my hair. Who? She's right there. She knows who she is. Was your address there? Yeah. What's her name? Kavina. <laughs> Kavina? Yeah, it's like the girl version of Kevin. What is she doing? She keeps pulling my hair. Do you want us to beat her up? Yeah. Then then. Beat her up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to jail for this. Yeah, she said she's gonna go to the police. Oh, shoot. Tiffany, oh. you're not gonna stand up for me. Damn. Damn. She's Woo! doing my flip-up! Oh. 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 Honey, 
Daddy, you're you not going to stand it, up for me. Missed, <laughs> and what are you doing? Huh? You're not even going to insult her? Ah! Holy okay, okay. Again, again. Again. Anyway, let's get back to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what I'm doing? I'm so confused. <laughs> he said I'm so confused. Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. Oh, He's tripping over Kavina. She is attacking Kavina. you too. And you're not going to do shit about it. She just tripped me. She just tripped you. <laughs> this has gone too far. Tiffany's looking at me like she needs to admit me into the hospital. You guys have never seen that TikTok? There's a TikTok trend right now where it's girls pretending to fight an imaginary person to see what their boyfriends do. And you failed. Because a lot of boyfriends are originally like, what are you doing? What's wrong? Nobody's back there. And then they'll be like, you know what? Shut the f up, bitch. Yo, where was that? Yeah, where was that energy? Shut the f up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Paul would do if you did this? You might just think you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, no one wants <laughs> Yeah, you didn't even come oh. pick her up. Um, everyone's come over and I was like, hey guys, let me feed you lunch. And they're like, we already ate. So I'm going to feed them Lady M. Yes, sir. It's the crepe cake that we've already eaten half of in this family. Matcha creep. This okay. is story time? Yes. Okay, this is the craziest story. It happened yesterday and I'm still recovering from it. I don't even know how to feel. I don't know what's been going on, but um... I've been obsessed with living forever. Yeah, he's been obsessed Longevity. with living forever. Living forever for a really long time and I don't mm. understand why. I don't understand the purpose really because I'm like, would I be that sad if I plopped dead oh. tomorrow? Maybe oh, not. Nice. Maybe I should talk to my therapist about it. But we also do care about longevity and so one of the things that he really wanted to do this year was to get crazy blood tests. Okay, so you know how every year you're supposed to go to the doctor and you get a blood test, yeah. right? And you get it every single year. Do you get it every year? No. Yeah, okay, we so need to get it every year. Like, <laughs> the regular blood test doesn't tell you much. Usually the annual test, they always tell you you're healthy mm -hmm. because the blood test that they do tell you pretty much nothing. Okay. It's just very vague. Like, like as long healthy. as you're not like unhealthy, mm -hmm. they don't tell you exactly where do you fall. And so he decided that he's going to take the world's most comprehensive blood test. He decided that he wasn't going to go to a doctor. His doctor is online, so they have a system where nurses can come to your house and draw your blood <laughs> in the comfort of your house. Then like, you know, you know what wow. T level is. Yeah. What is it? Well, men have. I'm a, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he schedule it for seven Wait, in the morning? On, pause. Pause. Why seven? Because so you have to fast. So you can't eat before the blood test. But the crazy yeah. thing is, the night before his blood test, we ate really early. Yeah. So sometimes we eat dinner at like 3.30. I think that day we ate dinner at like 2.30. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You eat dinner at 3.30 p.m.? Yes. Yes. That's crazy. Unless it's a mukbang. I thought it was 6. What happened? What? <laughs> Why do you keep going shorter? We keep waking up earlier and earlier. So. Soon it's going to be back to night. Are you guys ready? I'm actually making them come with me so I can reenact this show. And in the morning, no makeup. I'm in my PJs. I got my little iPad and I have the doors closed. I'm like going to sit like this while he gets his blood drawn. He's over here and this arm is getting drawn. And the nurse is standing right here. He's on his phone on this side, okay? <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is some sort of like Black Mirror Tony Stark who just gets their blood drawn in their house. Because it was like, she's, you know she take out those glass tubes <laughs> to show you how much blood, right? I think she took out like 20 tubes. Empty tubes. She's like, yeah, it's gonna be a while. So anyone who accused me of marrying this guy for some sort of life insurance, it's not gonna happen. This guy's not dying anytime soon. He is determined to live, forever. live forever. He's trying to outlive me yes. so he can get a couple years of peace at the yeah. end. Oh. <laughs> so he's getting his blood drawn. He's on his phone right here. And the nurse is like, are you okay? He's like, yep, doing good. He's watching TikToks. I can hear it through the office, okay? <laughs> and then she had to stop and get another vein. That's how much blood they were Okay, so basically, I think she drew on eight tubes and then she had to take a break. I don't know if I'm running out of blood on this hand or whatever. And she's like, let me see your other arm. So I show her my other arm and she's looking around and she's like, okay, no, we have to do the same arm. Cause she, I don't have a vein on this arm apparently. So she went back to the old arm, try to draw more blood from the same arm. So this is round two now. Round two, he's like, okay, okay, I'm over there and I'm starting to get stressed for no reason because uh -huh. it's taking so long. I don't remember it ever taking this long. So he's on his phone like this, right? And then she's like, okay, I'm done. And she starts taking out everything. And then he's like, okay, okay, good. And she goes, how do you feel? And he goes, I feel good. And I see through this, through that, okay? okay. All of a sudden I see, oh. Oh! and the nurse catches him. Like this. And it's like, stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me. I oh, only hear 
Those hey. movies where they get shot by a gun and the, the police officer is like, stay with me, don't fall asleep, don't close your eyes, stay with me. Like Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. She's like, stay with me. I scream from inside of there. <laughs> and I push open the door and I run over here. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do? There's a nurse right here. What am I gonna do? What did the nurse say? And she goes, grab a bag of ice. And I go and I start shoveling ice. Okay? And then meanwhile, meanwhile, well, apparently, I don't know, I was out. But apparently, oh. she, when she screamed, oh my god, Oma heard it. Oma was sleeping. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. you see Oma like poking out on top. <laughs> so, <laughs> she just started looking from top down here. And all she saw was me passed out with someone holding me oh. in their arms. Okay. She said that she woke up really early, right? And usually we wake up before her. And she heard us like saying hi to someone and she thought we were signing for like a really early package. Okay. And she didn't think someone was in the house. So she forgets about it, goes back to sleep, wakes up to my oh my god, looks over the ledge. She thinks we're being murdered. <laughs> someone is coming in here, runs at the blood. Dog. He's literally on the ground. I'm screaming, oh my god. She, the nurse is like holding him. It looks very crazy. But you know what? She is there footage? Don't mom. ever trust my mom. Why? Because why, why, why? she's like, I'm not trying to die. <laughs> I see her from the kitchen. <laughs> so she didn't even come here, like check? She's like down the stairs like this. <laughs> Yo. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I bring the bag of ice. She's like putting it on his chest, I think. My stomach. Yeah, and so she's like, okay, you need to help me. We need to get him to a yeah. sofa to elevate his feet. And then my so dumbass, I go, the closest sofa is the one that he likes the most. <laughs> That's the matter. Wait, what? And she goes, the, the closest one. That you one. Like. Cause I, I know that you like the, the living room is a better vibe. But you know what? you're done. <laughs> I was like out, right? I was sitting here. Apparently, I'm like out. Yeah. Have you like passed out before? Yes. No, like unconscious, not like fainting. Not like fainting. fainting. Not fainting, not. No. I think I have a. You have. When I had one when I was little, um, you know I had a lot of fever. And uh -huh. They do like needle injection on your butt. Uh huh. And you pass and out. <laughs> oh my god. You fainted. Really big one. <laughs> really big what? Not big what? <laughs> <laughs> really big one. No. around me like oh my god wake up wake up like that the needle the was so big it gets in and it hurts so much oh. and i passed out oh, wow. so i was sitting there basically i blacked out and then all i remember was do you know sometimes when you drive you get so sleepy right yes so fucking sleepy that you there's nothing you can do to wake up that's the feeling and finally i woke up they brought basically brought me up to stand up and they moved me from here to over there into that green couch. I ran here, threw everything off the couch. He's escorted here. Elevate the feet. He's like, so close, so close. Oh, really? So we bring him a blanket, okay? And he's just laying there and we're talking and then he's like, we're talking about how much blood was drawn, blah, 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 how he was fasting for so long. And she's like, it's normal. Most people who fasted for this long that take this amount of blood, either they throw up or they faint. And then he's like, I fainted. <laughs> Yeah, and the nurse goes, you dropped your phone and everything is real dramatic. <laughs> hey, but it's okay, I got the a case of wine. My mom is like, what does he need? Does he need breakfast? Does he need this? Does he need that? Right? And then I was like, oh, coconut water? Because we don't have Gatorade. And she's like, yeah, I get coconut water through a straw. And this is when I knew. This is when I knew yesterday was going to be a long day. I bring the coconut water with the straw. And this guy lays here and he goes like this. <laughs> Yo, that's so cute. Boy. <laughs> I go, I run, I go grab another coconut water. And I guess it's really intimate because the nurse goes, sister or wife? <laughs> and I go, wife. And she's like, yeah. Uh, just so you know, this should only last maybe 30 minutes. Oh. Don't let him pretend to be sick all day. <laughs> Yeah, he shouldn't be running, exercising, or doing any heavy lifting for 24 hours. But after 24 hours, he's good. <laughs> but, you know, wow, I see some people. I see some oh people. 
a week later, they're like, babe, coconut milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could have faked. And then she's like, don't let him try to pull this on you. And I was like, okay, okay, good. It was already getting pulled on me. <laughs> because let me tell you, when this guy is laying here, do you know what I fed him? And I had to run back and forth to the kitchen. I fed him two bottles of coconut water oh, wow. and apple juice. Sophie's apple juice container with the bendy straw and he was all like oh. <laughs> an apple sauce, a whole banana, rice with soup that I had to <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then a pistach toast and water and like some little candies. Like I literally was sitting on the ground feeding him all of this. Yeah. No. At one point, at one point my mother goes, I think he needs <laughs> she brought out a plate of steak. <laughs> I'm gonna you? feed this guy filet mignon, okay? <laughs> well, he's pretending to die on the couch right now. It was the most dramatic thing ever. Just the whole time he's laying here. And I'm like, are you good? And he's like, <laughs> I was laying there, it was so cold. I think I was there for like an hour and a half. No, like two hours. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna input some security footage because I'm gonna remember this day for the rest of my life. <laughs> it was the most dramatic experience I'd ever seen. But Stephanie freaked out. She really thought I was gonna die. And then my mom said that she was so scared that he was gonna die. Yeah. And she was scared that he was gonna die, not because she was scared that he was gonna die, but I would be so sad if he died. What does that mean, you know? How do you feel about that? That means she cares about you. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you feel? It's fine now because today was, it's almost like today was practice. Today is a controlled experiment, but mm. as we get older, there's gonna be moments where I think I'm gonna feel that, but it's gonna be real. And I'm mm. already stressed about it. Like imagine I'm in the hospital and you're on the hospital bed. That's why you're trying to go for that longevity. Yeah. <laughs> and then what did your mom say? You said she came down and she thought something else? Oh, and then she thought, okay, so she thought that we were getting murdered at first. And then she was like, oh my God, there's a nurse here. So he's probably been dying all night. <laughs> like he's oh terminally gosh. ill that they called the nurse to the house. And then I was like, oh my no, he's just getting blood work. <laughs> <laughs> but you freaked out the whole time, the well, whole morning you were out. freaking out. Yeah, but I had to calm down for her and she was like, oh my god, what's that? Oh my, oh my, grabs her it's phone. So oh my god, you never guess what happened in my house today. <laughs> Calling every single one of her friends. They know Are you serious? Now. Literally oh. everyone, they meet you, they're gonna be like, oh, hi, I heard you almost died. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Asians, bro. And literally, <laughs> And she's like, hey, is he okay? <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right, we're in trouble real fast. He's all day. He's in like a vest, a sweater vest. And this is just him all day. <laughs> My mom and I are hanging out in the kitchen, and he's over here. <laughs> Yo, so dramatic. Uh, oh. Well, all day I just feel so dizzy. <laughs> For real? Hey, For real. Be honest though. Uh -huh. For freaking real. When you were doing that, were you good? No, I was struggling. <laughs> I'm not Stephanie. I'm not trying to be dramatic. <laughs> and then at one point, this is him. And my mom is trying to like break up this depression. <laughs> so my mom goes, wow, you look very bougie today. Because he's wearing like a sweater and a vest. And he goes, oh this? Last night? He's buying more sweater vests. <laughs> so last night. Um, apparently he feels good enough to buy a sweater vest. Yeah, that was him all day yesterday. <laughs> I forgot there was also a part where he literally sits down and the dogs come to him and he goes, Mango, do you care that I almost died? <laughs> do you even care that your owner almost died today? Okay, I don't want to hear it. I don't want him ever calling me dramatic, okay? Because <laughs> this... <laughs> Incredible! Are you guys ready to see this footage? Oh. You look like oh, someone. Yeah. Hey, yo, dead. you look dead. He's not even opening his eyes. Bruh. Yeah. Bro, my eyes were open. when I was feeding him the rice soup, right? I would have to blow on the rice and the soup and I'd look over at him on the couch and his mouth is already <laughs> <laughs> like ready for the next bite. I was getting so much pressure. Like, <laughs> I think he's already
party buddy. buddy he had fun with it. No, by seeing his face, you know. No. Oh, no, no, so no. So that's the story of how my fiance almost died. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was genuinely worried. Now I look back at it in hindsight. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> You're goofy, okay? <laughs> but yesterday it was it was very stressful. This morning, um, we were taking a shower, and at the end, we were trying to make it a cold shower. And I'm like, no, it's so cold, it's so cold. I feel so lightheaded and dizzy because it's so freaking cold. And he goes, that's it. Feels like to faint. Bro. I'm like, bro, come on now. Come on now. Yeah, he's gonna think about this moment for the rest of his life. Yeah. But if I was the one that fainted, I'm a giving... grandma, grandma person, right? <laughs> Cue the music. Cue the music. <laughs> so, if you guys ever hear him referencing that time I fainted, yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna come up a lot. I have a feeling I'm gonna be giving birth one day. Oh my god, it's so painful, and he's gonna be like. It's like the time I fainted. <laughs> Get out of here. Are you next? I'm not next. Not <laughs> after that. I'll do a regular schmegular blood test. Blood test or poop test? Mm, poop. Poop test? You rather poop in the container? Are you kidding? I'd rather poop, sh fart, pee, throw up, puke in a container before they take my blood. Wait, what about you guys? Blood. Blood is funny. Blood? What's wrong with you guys? No, what's wrong with you? <laughs> no. You would rather sit there and have a needle drain you of your life liquid. What? Like, you need this liquid to live. What? You know why I did a poop test? Because I was pooping black poop. Woke up one day, my poop was the color of that candle. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> and it was slimy. And that's actually a sign of really, like, internal bleeding. To have, like, tarry, slimy black poop is, like, the worst level of poop. If poop has levels, that's, like, Supreme horrendous level. We think that you'll probably need a GI test Meaning that we're gonna need to knock you out and stick a camera down your mouth Oh, I think it was that way, but to see if something was wrong with my colon too, but let's start with the poop test, right? Blueberries. I've been also trying to do a lot of uh, cold plunging Nice. You know, cold then then you want to go take a cold plunge? Jump into the pool right now for like five minutes yeah, the whole Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Cold plunging has been um pretty good. I will say that I have to scream. It just comes out of you. It's like, uh, I think Tiffany was here, but I went upstairs, went into the cold plunge in the bathtub, filled it with cold water, okay? Went inside, and all they could hear from downstairs was, ah! My mom even ran upstairs. He goes to the bathroom door. She's fine, she's fine. Close this in. Let's go upstairs and have him out. Cold. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Wait, how long do okay, you want to stay there, though? For so as long you, as you want. You can do two minutes, you can do five minutes. Like, I did six minutes. So, so. they say you're going to hit a wall internally. You're like, okay, I know I should stop. That's when you get out. All right. That's pretty cold. Bruh. My fiance says he's going to go first. Oh, my God. She said, oh Bro, my god. You're like, you're like, she, she said, oh my god. Goal. Denden's hyping himself up. Wait, Denden, do you want to go first or do you want to wait? You want me to go first? I want the master to show me. The master? So you know how you want to go first? I don't know how to do it. You got to teach me. Just jump in there. I don't know how to. <laughs> Wait, let me do that again. Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> gets knocked out of you. You feel like you can't breathe for the first like five seconds. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You've been in there 20, 30 seconds. So talk to me, babe. How do you feel right now? Right now? Yes. The shock is going away. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to relax my body. I'm getting used to it. Is anything numb? Th or there's a level of numbness going through my brain right now. Is it okay. worse or better with clothes? It's the same. <laughs> Okay, and have the shivers come? You don't look like you're shivering much. I start to shiver now. Okay. Yeah. You look like you're well, it's time to get out soon. Already? In 10 seconds. Oh, what? Can I do a little longer? No. Maybe 30 more seconds. Okay, 230, yeah. that's it. Because right now, I'm feel, I feel comfortable. I would say the first 30 seconds is the most shocking 30 seconds. Yeah. And then it's just, it's fine. So well, the first time I was shivering, remember? Yes, you were shivering. But right now, it's like not as bad as... The first time. They said it's bad if you actually get used to it. Yeah, when you get used to it, you don't get the benefit. You gotta get colder. Yeah, you get colder or you stay longer. Okay, seven, six, five. Oh man, four, I can easily no, stay like a couple three, more get minutes. Get out, get out. Come on. All right. 
it. You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> oh my god! Fast. You gotta Fast. get it. Oh, you know, dude! You, know, you gotta get it. Dude! You just have to get it. You're okay, hold on, hold on. Fast, fast, fast. Go down, go down. Okay. Okay. Down, down, down. Down. Come on, down. All the way. The faster, the faster, the better. Okay. To your neck. You got this, you got this, you got this. You just gotta do it. The slower you do it, yeah, the slower the harder. Okay! I did it! I did it! Your arms, your arms. Are you sure? Yes. To your neck. Just try it. It feels like, it feels, it really feels cold. Yeah. It feels like, uh, I don't want to do anything. Five, four, three, two, one. How do you bring the mask and bring it down? Alright, come on, come on, come on, get up. Are you okay? Are you frozen? Go, both go into the shower and change or something. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. But not together. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So how do you feel? Afterwards you feel good. Describe your whole body state right now. I feel more flexible. Before I felt kind of stiff. Uh huh. But now I feel like I can do a split. <laughs> Show us. I can't do a split, but. <laughs> so you like it? Yeah. Would you do it again? No. <laughs> so you're gonna do it again? No, maybe like next month. <laughs> now I'm hot actually. <laughs> What would you like to say? I'm not mm -hmm. wearing a bra. And you guys okay. saw these knockers. They'll knock you out. No, yeah. they will. They knock me out all the time. I just want to say I'm so glad you're not dead. Which now I realize is kind of a questionable thing to say. But I'm very glad that you are not dead. Are you not glad that you're dead? I mean, wait. Don't cut. <laughs> can you guys tell that I'm wearing aligners? Or does it sound the same? I can tell. I don't know what happened. The day just like went out the window. We were so busy with Dan Dan and Tiffany just running around and then now it's like literally so late. It's nine. <laughs> <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out Case to Fight because my fiance dropped his phone when he fainted and it didn't crack. And if that's not an ad, I don't know what it is. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Bye.